Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Vibrations with Vito podcast. I am your host, Vito. Episode 43. We're zooming along here. Having fun every episode, by the way. Keep that in mind. Uh, feel absolutely amazing today. Off tomorrow from work. That's a blessing. Woke up today. That's a blessing. You know, New Year. I want to say the same me, but uh, I've been doing some things differently, so can't say that. Uh, been enjoying these first few days in uh, 2023. Not gonna lie, emotionally, I should say, we're we're on the right track. So let's keep that going. Um, yeah, I feel great. Uh, the message of the week is learn to invest your time rather than spend it. You know, learn to invest it rather than spend it. I like that. Um, folks, I have a dear guest with me today. A, the greatest person that has ever existed on this planet. A very, uh, what is the word, uh, requested guest. Uh, I was asked many times, when are you going to get such and such on the pod? And he, guess what? Today is the day. Uh, she is blessing me with her, excuse me, with her presence today. She gave birth to me. She is the boss of the family, regardless of what anybody says. She makes the rules. It's her way or the highway. <laughs> the one and only. My mother. Giuseppina Loduga. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Mom. Hello, Ansel. How are you all? Oh, thank you. <laughs> How are you? I am great. Good. You look beautiful. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. You're not, uh, you weren't excited to come on. You, you, you don't think we have anything to talk about? Well, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> I don't want you to be shy, though. You can't be I'm shy. Not, I'm not shy. Yeah, that's one yeah. thing. Uh, thank you for having me. I appreciate you coming on. I know. You've been asking me so many times. For real. And I'm like, why you want me to get, be on your podcast? Yeah, why not? Why? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I can have everybody else but my mother. Yeah, I don't want anybody to know so know what I look like. Well, guess what? <laughs> everybody now <laughs> knows what you look like. Uh, we have audiences in different parts of the country. I just found out that we now have an audience in India, an audience in Poland, and the United Kingdom. So if you're listening in any of those countries I just named, thank you. Uh, I hope you tell your friends and your family, and I hope you continue to watch the show. Um, but yeah, and while we're on that topic, you can find me on Apple, Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all under the name Vibrations of Vito. Share, like, tell your friends, follow. I appreciate it. I really would. Subscribe if you're watching. If you're not subscribed, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? But whatever. So, Ma, uh, very appreciative and thankful for you. Thank you uh, for having me. Thanks for bringing me in this world. Uh, I thank, mm, thank your dad. <laughs> thank my dad. Ew, I'm going to throw up on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I need the wine. You're, you're ridiculous already. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So let's talk about something real quick. Your real name is Giuseppina. Giuseppina in, in Italian. Right. How does that translate to Josephine? Josephine in English. I don't know. And do you like when people call you Josephine or no? Uh, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> because, uh, I'm here. <laughs> Okay. Because a lot of people don't know how to say Giuseppina the way right. it's supposed to. So instead of like saying Giuseppina, yeah. I like to be Josephine. Josephine's fine. Okay. Yeah, I love it. I love my name. All right. Yeah, you have a beautiful name. Pina. Anybody call you Pina? No. No. Okay. Well, Penuzza, yes. Penuzza. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Well, shout out. Speaking of Pina, shout out to Pina Frigolino. Pina. Ciao. Uh, yeah. So. We um, love you. We do love you dearly. Um, so we were. Uh, when I had her on, I put featuring Pina because when you, you know, when I was going to have you on, I'm going to write featuring Giuseppe Pina. Giuseppe Pina. You know, more formal. But okay. Uh, you know the drill. We're drinking? Yeah. All oh, right. We're drinking. Look at you, Miss Alcoholic, all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, we're going we're gonna to drink this whole bottle. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. When your father comes home, I'm going to be drunk? Good. No. Good. He's going to be very happy. <laughs> it's not happening. My shadow. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> folks, put, put your volume up. This is a very special episode. You know the deal. It's, it's time for the pour. Beautiful. Just don't like my, fill it to the rim. Just like my mother. Beautiful. Don't fill it to the rim. Oh, don't tell me what to do on my show. <laughs> 
okay? Well, I'm a guest, so Ooh. you said I'm the boss. You are. <laughs> Whatever I say goes. That's right. So now uh. I'm conflicting uh, what I'm saying over here, <laughs> contradicting statements. Okay, hold on. So, Ma? Yes. Join me. Okay, honey. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers to us. Yes, yes. Your, and everybody watching. Thank your you. Show. Thank you. I love you so much. I love you more. The, no, dude, dude, you drank it all at once. I cannot do that. One more zip, I will. Zip. Zip. Not a sip. Zip. <laughs> <laughs> She's drunk already. I just wanted to get your uh, mm. your reaction with that. Because <laughs> you hate when I drink it like that. I don't like that you drink it all at once. Well, that was funny. I needed to get going, you know? Okay, all right. Go ahead. We're, we're going. Uh, I just want to also say real quick, my apologies for last week's episode. I cursed a lot. I did. You did. Yeah, and I knew... I'm like, my, my son is effing uh, bombs all over. For real. I, I was uh, very emotional that episode. And you said my mom is not going to like that. You know. I mean, I can say it. I do say it. Let me hear you oh, say it. Say it right now. <laughs> Look at the camera and say it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> if it comes out, it comes out. Uh, um, I don't want to be, you know. We're going to be everywhere. <laughs> I hope you know that. The whole world is going to see this, you and me right now. Superstar. Superstar. That's you. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's start with, uh, where were you born, Ma? I was born in Sicily, Carini. Mm, Carini. Yes. Okay. And I, um, in July, mm -hmm. July 23rd, it would be 50 years that I'm here. Two. 50 yeah. years since you've 50, been in America. Yes. Wow. I left Sicily when I was like uh, uh, 12, almost like 12 years old. 12 years old. Like a month and 12 years old. Okay. So left Italy 50 years ago. Okay. Moved to Brooklyn. Wait, time out, time out. Let's backtrack <laughs> a little bit. You're going too fast. Well, I'm gonna, you want to know my story? No, I do. We're going to get to it. Okay. So do you remember the street you were you lived on? Avia San Vito, no, numero 37. Via San Vito, yeah. number 37. Mm, San Vito, is that yeah, nice? Yeah, San Vito, that's Here the street. Yeah. yeah, right, okay. Uh, I was born there, too, at, at the house. That, okay. At the house, because, you know, then you were not born in, at the hospital, unless there was a complication. Right, okay. But uh, Oh, did they give births? At home. It, wow. Yes, Do you me, think and they, my, me and my three brothers who were all born at home. Okay, and you're the second oldest. I'm the second. Okay, and three brothers. Right, right. Yeah. So, oh, so okay. How was that being the only girl? Oh, they always treated me like I was the princess. Well, because of the you, you are <laughs> with right reason. <laughs> with right reason. Uh, always. Okay. Always. So, would you was it wasn't difficult? It was just they treated yeah, you how? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You met my father in Italia, correct? I met your dad in 1979. Mm. Your papa. My papa. That's yeah. right. Okay. But I knew him when we were little. Okay. Because being in the same town, and we have uh, our, my aunt, mm. Pina Covello, which is not around no more. And it's papa's, dear uh, Chicho, it's papa's cousin. Okay. So we knew each other. We used to see, you know. Being right. uh, always, always together, but I left Italy in 1973. Mm. I thought you said you met about 1979. Yeah, so I left Italy in 1973. Right. I went back to Italy in 1979 oh. when my aunt Franca got married. Okay. So when I went to Italy, Papa came and see Ziabina and Lori and Joseph mm. and Giuseppe. Mm. So he came non, via San Vito numero 37. That's okay. where they were staying because right. that's where the gra my grandparents lived. Right. And he saw me. And, and? And I heard that he wanted to go out with me. I'm like, oh my God, I just got here. Right. So you, you weren't, you guys weren't dating or anything before no. the first time you left. No. But by 1979, now you're older. What? How old were you then? I was uh, 17. Okay. Yeah. 12 right. and 5, 17. So you left when you were 12. And you I came went straight back to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Okay. Who was there? Family in Brooklyn? All my mom's brothers and sisters were in Brooklyn. Okay. That's I guess everybody stopped in Brooklyn. Right. Because that was like. Sicily number two. That's for what real. everybody stopped okay. coming for anywhere else. I feel like it's still kind of that. There's a lot of Italians in Brooklyn, no? A lot of people have left. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we stopped in Brooklyn for five years. Mm -hmm. so, came in, in July. Started school. Oof. 
seventh grade. Yeah, okay. So in not, September. Not speaking the language, no? Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, all right. It's not like now that, you know, everybody hands you everything. Yeah. Over the, when we started school, when I started school, it was terrible. Mm. Did not know one word. So I went to school in September, and I had like a, a special teacher. Right. And she's like, "My name is, and your name is." I'm like, "What?" Are the so she was talking, right? Talking gibberish. Yeah. So she was just to teach you the language. Right. Mm. Was there anyone else in this class, uh, or it was no, like private? I, it was uh, just me oh, okay. in that class, like one and one. Okay. Was so she I, I, you know, I started as I said, I started seventh grade. Mm. So it was real, really hard. Right, because the curriculum curriculum in seventh grade is a little, uh, but I rather know, difficult. I didn't know what I was doing, and I, I cried because I wanted to go back to Italy because I'm I like, what are we doing here? Right. But I, as I said, I started school in September. Then my uncle John and Zia Vitina, they mm -hmm. opened up a bakery. So I started working after school there, which I did not know the language, but my cousin Joe, Josephine, she was born here. So she, we were both so tiny. Mm -hmm. I was 12 and she was 10. Yeah. And we were both taking care of the bakery from three to nine. Mm. And, uh, you know, she was telling me if I didn't know the customers, what they wanted it. She was telling me that's what you need to do. And mm. we were taking care of, you know, pastry shop, the pastry shop, right. filling cannolis, making trays. And where was this located? Where was the shop? Uh, in Brooklyn, okay. Argento's Pastry Shop. Argento's Pastry Shop. Is this so, still up and running by any chance? No, no, no. Okay. no Diavetina, they're in Florida now. Oh, yeah, and, I forgot. Uh, you know, I so. Forgot. But that was, uh, I worked there from 73. To 78. Mm, and then you went back to the dollar 79. And then seven, 1978, we moved here in Pennsylvania. Paris Hills? Paris Hills. Mm. Um, Drexelwood. Right, right. Okay. So, and um, August of 78. So I did my 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. 11th, 12th. 11th uh, grade in Brooklyn. Oh. My senior year, I had to okay. start in September. Yeah. My parents decided that they wanted to come to Pennsylvania <laughs> because my brother Frank and my brother Tony were, you know, we already had the, the pizza shop. Right. So my mom is like, no, we got to move uh, so I can take care of my, you know, my boys. So they decided to come to Pennsylvania. Let's have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> so. Oops. Arajo. scusa. Arajo means take it easy. She <laughs> slammed the table. So right. um, we moved in 78. I I had to start school. So I went to Pensbury. I re went to register myself because, you know, you my just, parents did not, you know, they know the language. Because you're a boss, that's all. Go ahead. So I went to Pensbury and I told them I, I was a grad, uh, I was transferred from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So that, you know. I go to school the first day, second day of school, <laughs> and then the third day, like at the end of the day, they called me, like those classrooms had, you know, those phones. Yeah. Each classroom had a phone. So the phone rings and they were like, uh, Josephine Ferranti, can you please uh, go to the office? And I'm thinking something happened to my mom. Right. And they, it's not like now there's cell phones. Right, right. You get messages. Instantly, so I'm like, right. oh my God, something happened to my mom. Or So I go down to the office and they tell me that, uh, oh, you live in Bristol Township. You don't belong here, Pensbury. I'm like, what? So what do I do? When I'm crying, because I used to walk from Pensbury to where we used to live. Right, it's not that far of a walk. Yeah, it was just a block. Right. So I'm like, I don't need to drive my car. So I was walking those three days that I went. So I get home crying. I'm like, I want to go back to Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. So, But that wasn't happening because it's not like now. You're yeah. like, oh, I don't want to live with it. I just live on my own. But it wasn't happening. So I was home for about two weeks. My neighbors, like, they saw that I no wasn't going. No school for no two school weeks. No school for right. two weeks. Okay. Because then, you know, 
my neighbors saw that I didn't go to school no more. They're like, oh, what happened? You didn't go. I'm like, no, I went, oh, yeah, we don't, you don't belong at Pensbury. We don't belong at Pensbury District. So they're like, oh, maybe you want to go to, was it Truman? Mm-hmm. Truman High School? Yeah. So my father goes, no, you don't need to go to school no more. What do you need to go to school for? Genius. Yeah, I'm like, what am I, what am I going to do? I He's a smart man. So... <laughs> <laughs> After like two weeks of being home, my neighbor said, you know, there's a n- nice Catholic school, old girls, Bishop Conwell. It was a Leviton Parkway. <laughs> Power of strength. <laughs> go ahead. So they said, maybe you want to go there and see if you, you know, you like it. So me and Nona, we go to school there. And uh, I told them I wanted to go finish my high school year, which... Sure, you pay seven hundred dollars, you're in. That's crazy. how much it was, uh, nineteen seventy nine. So I go to school the first day of school. Right. No uniform. Uh, what were you wearing? <laughs> Do you remember what you were wearing? <laughs> Tell me what you were wearing. I think I was wearing a because it was so September, like maybe mm. a yellow pants and a blue shirt <laughs> and heels because it's not like now you wear you know all this. Uh, so the minute I walk into the gym, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> All my, like my friends, Alicia. Shout out to Alicia. She lives on this street, by the way. (laughs) Alicia, Margie, Mm. Kathy, everybody's like, oh my God, is she a a teacher, a Mm. new teacher? Uh, And then like, would you like to join us? Because, you know, they introduced it to that group. Like, this is a new girl. She just moved in. And uh, they're like, oh, would you like to sit with us? Because I didn't know anybody. So I joined the cool kids. <laughs> the cool table. Right away. <laughs> Just from how you looked? Is that what well, it was? They welcomed me like, you know, they knew that I... That's amazing. So, so and if uh, any of those ladies are listening to this show by any chance, thank you for welcoming my mother into your little group yes. here and making her feel like one of one of the cool kids. Even I, though you, you're the coolest one of the group, <laughs> let's talk about it. No. Uh, but go ahead. They were all, they were right. really, really nice to me. Right, great. That's amazing. Go ahead. So I finished my school, you know, my 12th grade at Bishop Conwell. Mm-hmm. Went to my prom. I, I wasn't allowed to go out with like everybody else because I never went out with my friends. Of course. With them that I met. Right, right. But I... You know, in school, we were really good friends. And they were like, would you want to do this on Friday? I'm like, I'm not allowed. Right. Because my dad would not let Super me. Super strict, right. Yes. So, are you drinking? Let's are drink. Are you drinking? <laughs> you don't need to cheers with me every time. Drinking what you want. I love you. <laughs> I love you more. <laughs> you know that. So. Wait a minute. You you say that to me. All the time. All the time. When you say, Mom, I love, you. I love you, I say, I love, I love you, more. you more. And you're like, no, no, you know you don't. Because you don't. But I... Uh, you don't? You think I don't? I love you way more. Mm. But I will uh, forever carry that with me. Uh, one of my residents at my, where I work, she always goes, love you. I go, I love you more. <laughs> like, that's what my mom says to me. Okay, but okay. So, I, all right. So, you did three years in Brooklyn. Your I last did year. From, uh, from 7 to 11. No, I but did I'm talking in high school. So, yeah, yeah, from 7 to 11, I finished, I did it in Brooklyn. Right. And then you're So your I started my senior year in Bishop Sept- I moved in August right. and I went to school in September okay. at Bishop Conwell. When you got to Egan, would you, or Bishop Conwell, Bishop excuse Conwell, me. Bishop Conwell, that's what me. it was called. Right, all right. girls. It was right. all girls. When you got there, would you say your English was. Oh, it was much better, of oh, course. Okay. I was already like f- f- almost right. five years here. Okay. And I, you know, I learned everything in Brooklyn. Do, do you know the name of the teacher that helped you with your. English? I for, uh, don't you know her? What's her name? Miss McGinley. Miss McGinley? In Brooklyn, yeah. Oh, what an and angel. Then when I moved here in Brook, uh, P- Bishop Conwell, there mm. was a Miss McGinley. No relation. No relation. Mm. The big, heavy teacher. <laughs> when you were... <laughs> <laughs> we used to have so much fun in that class, English class. I imagine. Yeah. Um, so what Alicia and we all had her. And then we always, like, there were round tables and we were always in the round tables. And every time she went by, we were always, like, uh, talking. And she's mm. like, I hear noises. I hear voices on that table. Shout uh, out to the Alicia. Cool table. I feel like if Alicia does watch this, she's probably drinking a glass of red wine right now. Is that so what she likes? I think red? so. If I remember correctly, so Alicia, this one's for you. Uh, 
Alicia, I only like white. I mean, I'll have red, but I'm right, like white. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, this is your preference. You're not a big drinker at all, but... No, but when I do drink, I like white. White wine. White wine. So, what would you say was harder, to write in English or to speak it? Uh, both. But what, Okay. What it, would, was, it was hard. Equally hard. Yeah, okay. both. All but, right. Uh, so, you finished Bishop Conwell. I finished Bishop Conwell. Right. And it was, when I got out of school... I, there was already so many jobs. Mm. It's not like you didn't need to go to college like today. Right. So uh, many, many jobs, opportunity. But my dad, you don't need a You don't need a job. Huh? So. Oh, I thought you were about to say you didn't need school. Okay, no, sorry. <laughs> he's like, you don't need to go to work anywhere else. How about mm. you come and help us at lunchtime at DeVito's one and we had a bro street. Right. So. Did you do that? I did. Okay. I used to work from like 10, 10 until about 2 mm. because that's, that was a very busy, busy hour, right. hour. So we were like me and my th my two brothers because Jerry was so little. Right. And uh, we I worked there until I married your dad. Okay, wait. We see you go too far ahead here. Uh, so from 79 yeah. to 83, I worked uh, downtown. Okay. All right. And... Um, where was Nana? Was she? Uh, Nana was home. She right. never came to work. She didn't know anything about work. The greatest. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. Rest in peace. Oh my yeah. goodness. So um, she was just, you know, we were you go to work. She was uh, at home taking care of the house, cleaning, and, and Jerry. And Jerry was a little because he huh. Jerry was born in 1973. Okay. So he was little. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So she needed to be home. She needed. Okay. Her. Yeah. Um, so set, this is, you said 83? 83. Okay. When did you go back to, you went back to Italian in 79? 79. Like I Baba, got married. You went on a date with Baba? We didn't uh, go on a date. He you came hung to out? The, he came to the house and he told Diabina that he liked me. And I'm like, oh, yeah. The guy's got swag, huh? And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to back to America in two weeks. Right. And uh, she said, well, he's going back. He's going for the first time. Mm. He's going September 30th, the same day we were going back. We were coming back. So we end up coming home on the same plane. Mm. Were you holding hands on the plane? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> My dad was not around. Oh, though. so yeah. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Your, but, um, yeah. Your dad was uh, an intimidating figure, right? Yeah. He, he had a nickname, Pajerane. Pajerane. Which means, like, the, the big, big guy. Yeah, the big guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, did he like Baba right away? Or he just didn't, like, because it was his only daughter? He oh, my want... God. You had this pictures of the wedding? Of Straight the face. video? Straight face. Not smiled at all of the right. whole freaking day. Is that because he oh just didn't want to lose? Because he did not. Uh, <laughs> he didn't want to lose his daughter. Uh, yeah, but he knew I was getting married. Right, right. But you know, okay, mm, mad, like sad and not smiling. But then there are pictures of him smiling, cheek to cheek with Nana. Oh yeah. So he yeah. was. Uh, he just. He was. You know. That day he was miserable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So there's a rumor out there. Rumor that you broke <laughs> rumor that uh <laughs> that you broke my dad's heart. I did. <laughs> I did. Well, we came from Italy in 1979. After like three, uh, from September to January, we, we broke up in January. Mm. And How long uh, were you dating? From September from to, September to, to the January. Okay. All right. After the holidays, we broke up. <laughs> you got your <laughs> gifts for Christmas, and then you said, "I've had enough." I did. He gave me a nice. Uh, I wish I did have it, that ankle bracelet that you used to wear, you know, used to have them many, many years ago. Okay. But I, th I think I gave it back to him because he gave, he made me that ankle bracelet, mm. his name on it, my name on it. Damn. The day uh, that uh, we started dating. Oh, my guy's got, my, my dad's got the it sauce. Was, <laughs> it was really, really nice. What but happened? I don't know. I gave, I gave it back to him. Okay, wait, we're not slandering my dad here. Um, what a great guy. So he didn't want to go too in-depth on it when he came on the show because, uh, you know, he's probably still a little upset. Anyway, um, so you guys dated. You broke up with him. Then I broke up with him. Then I, you, came, all right, okay. you came to America, right? 1973, right. 79, After. I went back. Yeah. And then when you went back, I, I think I'm, I just Wait confused myself. So yeah, I confused I, myself. For the first time, I came 73. Yeah, no, no, I and know then that. And then 79, we went back because my aunt was getting Right, married. right, right. So that's when I met 
Bye-bye. Yo, bye-bye. Right. And then we came home on the same flight. Right. Hold so, the hands, making out. All no, that. no, making out. We don't, we don't do that. We're okay. not that kind of <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, and and where, uh, how did you guys link back up here? Okay, so we broke up after the holidays. And then we did not see each other for the very long time. For From like 80 to the, the end of... 82, 82. Right. 82. Right. Uh, I went every Sunday. We used to go to Brooklyn, okay. me and my brothers, because it, we did not, we, like, we did not like it here in Pennsylvania that much. And okay. besides, my brothers had girlfriends in Brooklyn, mm. so they wanted me to go every week. So they're like, what are you going to do at home and stay at home? Well, let's go to Brooklyn with, you know, Dia Rosa, Dia Franca, Dia Vettina. Okay. Everybody, there's, every Sunday there was a big reunion with all the people right. that used to live there. Okay. So we we went to 18th Avenue. Mm. Like a little, the 18th Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> little records. They, you know, we used to go there every week and buy records. Okay. And we saw your father at the gasoline station putting gas into his car. So I'm looking. I'm looking. Is, is that who I think it is? Uh-oh. So... Um, Dear Rosa and Dear Franca goes, I think it is him. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, my God, look at him. I'm like it's making myself like, oh, my God, look at him. So but he did sexy. not see us at all. No? No. Okay. How, did you go get his attention? What happened? <laughs> no. I don't know how do we end up talking. Uh, I don't know. Somebody must call them. Somebody got in touch with said, him. Tal- Vishay, Josepina, Vishay, Josepina look, uh, saw you yesterday or mm, a couple of days ago. And he's talking. like, no, I don't want to talk to her. She that, See, <laughs> he's how I am. When somebody does me dirty, I don't want any part of you. So he probably was a little upset with you. It was. I would imagine. He was. Because he, he made that bracelet sounds like he yeah. was in love with you already. I know. So. I, I wish I had that ankle bracelet. I wish you had it too. That'd be good. Because um, it, uh, it was nice. Something that you used to, you, you know, they This used next to make Christmas, it. that's what we're going to get you for Christmas. An ankle bracelet? Yeah. With I'm the gonna, day I'm going to de- design it, so make sure he gets me the same one. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right. So, so so then you guys link back up, let's say. Um, we linked uh, together. I mean, we got back together. We started talking. We didn't talk for a couple of days. A couple, mm. I, And then we were just... When we met, and he saw me, I had braces on. Mm. He goes, "You have changed." I'm like, "Am I ugly? <laughs> Am I ugly?" Kiss on your bruta. <laughs> and and he didn't say nothing. Right, he goes, obviously. Oh, you have changed. I'm like, "How have I changed? I mm. have braces, which, but you guys are just older. That's all. Yeah. Well, from a 17 to 21. Right. That's a lot. You know, that's so, a lot. A lot can change. For and you. that's it. So then, no, uh, we started talking again. We started uh, not going out. You said 82, right? The end of 82. My sister was born in 84. Four. So you guys are nasty. Is what what do you mean we nasty? <laughs> we were so dating. Okay. So When did you get married? 83? We got married July of 83. Okay. What was the, what's the date? July 10th? July 10th. July 10th. What happened was he wanted to go out. And that going out, it was not existing in my house. Mm. He wanted to come home on Tuesday, pick me up, and go to the movies, go shopping. Classic. And no, 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 no. We're not having that. Right. So he goes, you know what? We're going to get married. He goes, either you come with me now. Boom. Or I'm leaving. He I gave said, you an ultimatum. Yeah. I'm like, what? I am not, <laughs> you know, like a, a, a lope. That's what the word. A lope. I'm like, I am not a lope. And I want to get married the right way. Mm. So I said, how about we get married? Boom. Boom. Six Let's months. Let's get married. <laughs> Six months. From January to July 10th. Damn, six months. We planned the wedding. Everything turned out, you know, fine. Amazing. Amazing. That That's picture, the, way to the do it. picture of your wedding day that we have in the living room, absolutely amazing. Yeah. So I know how you are, obviously. You weren't, you weren't, you didn't care about your dress dragging across those rocks no. and all that stuff? Oh, no. Oh, well, Papa picked me up and I'm like, be careful. He carried you? <laughs> he carried me because it what was a like gentleman. a. It was a fence that we had across. Yeah. And I'm like, be careful. Uh, my dress. He goes, you're not worrying about me. Girl. You're worrying about your dress. <laughs> Valid question. Um, okay. Where did you get married? We got married in Brooklyn. Classic. Okay. Remember that church when we went to yeah, Salvatore? Yeah, yeah. We drove by it. And we drove by right. and you're like, oh, let's go down and say it. Mm. 
Phyllis, and uh, Phyllis that, that Regina Pashis, okay. and that's where we got married. We got married Regina Pashis in Brooklyn. Right. Even though we lived here in Pennsylvania, we just all everybody Who's lived in Brooklyn. There. Right. So we didn't want to do the wedding. Here. I mean, we did not know everything that we know here today. Right, right. So if uh, if I had to do a wedding today, I would not go do it in Brooklyn. That's Where would sure. you do it? Over here in Philadelphia. In so many parts, of beautiful parts here that, like, you know, North Jersey, South Jersey, right. Philly. And that picture you guys took with the water in the background, that, that's that in was Brooklyn? A park. That's a park in Brooklyn. Do you know you, the park? Uh, Garden Park. Uh, Botanical Gardens. Botanical Gardens. Botanical Gardens. Because the, the the scenery in that picture yeah, that's is beautiful. How, uh, people go like you know. I feel like we should go one of these days. I think that would be good, nice to just I, go and I sit there. It's forty years. In July, it will be forty years that we're married. Uh, uh, you don't hear that much anymore, folks. Forty year marriages. You don't even hear pe- like pe- people today don't even last forty hours. I was about to say the same thing. I was about to say the same. <laughs> it's a shame. People date for like four I weeks. I mean, you know, I, uh, and they get tired of each other. You yeah, know, so. A lot of patience goes in between, you know, with that. When your father talks, I don't listen. It's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> it's better like that. No, I'm, I'm only kidding. kidding. No, I'm for real. Kidding. We don't want to upset anybody. No, we're only, no, no, we're no, only no. kidding. But, but we but love you. The way we uh, really do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful, you know, that you guys went through all well, that yeah. journey. So, okay. So, you guys got married in 83. 83. Angel's born in 84. Yeah. Phil is born in 88. Yes. And <laughs> you guys are disgusting. Why are we and, disgusting? And you waited. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not that I waited. It's no. just that we. Okay. It, you want to know why? No, it, I don't want to know 10 why. Ten years for for you. I don't want to know why. Why? Because we had the pizza shop. We right. had started the pizza shop. I was always working from morning until night. Mm. And I'm like, I have to have an. Uh, am I going to have another baby that I, you know? Did you think you were going to have another baby or no? I, you know, I, I was like, you know. You thought the shop was that's, closed. That's it. We uh, we have to worry about the business, and I have the, we have the two kids, mm. and we're not planning at number three because, as I said, I was always working almost every day. Okay. But then... Wait a minute. Yeah. There you go. But then... <laughs> then... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Here I come. So, uh, what was your initial... Be real. What was your initial reaction when you knew you were pregnant with me? Oh, you can tell your sisters how I cried. Mm. Because I was like, I got to start all over again. Why didn't I have a baby eight years ago? Instead of like after 10. Right. And I'm like, again, with diapers... Uh, I, you know, so I was, you know what I was doing? I was going, I was going to work, (laughs) trying to kill me. (laughs) I'm a, I'm a, I I was like, oh my God, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do this. You were lifting the dough by yourself. I was, I was trying to lift the dough because maybe. Cutting the grass, doing (laughs) all kinds, doing all kinds of shit. When I, when I went to the doctor for the (laughs) first time and I heard the heartbeat, I'm like, what the f am I doing? That's say it, it. Say it. What I the? I said, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Trying to kill my baby. <laughs> so I said, no way. God, please forgive me. Thank you. I hope uh, you know nothing is wrong with my baby. <laughs> right. You were trying to kill me. Oh, uh, but no. It, so uh, you know. It, you know. But, uh, but okay. uh, yes, I'm like, okay. <laughs> here's the heartbeat. That's it. I'm having a baby, and. Uh, <laughs> Whatever it is. Whatever it is. <laughs> whatever it is. If it's a girl, another girl, or or for a boy, you know, I'm going to love it just maybe more than the other two. Mm. Okay. That's that's nice. Big so it was so. clearly a mistake. <laughs> clearly a mistake. But I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to fix my car when I say this. <laughs> the biggest blessing to this family. Yes. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, as I said, I thought I was in, you know, I'm like, oh, been, we've been so good for ten years, we're not having. Any so you just kids. weren't mentally ready. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, but, um, but as I said, when I went right. to the doctor in Bay, oh, she was the doctor right. <laughs> that delivered all the babies, all my friends, all yeah. the aunts and you know, all my aunts. Right. So when I went to doctor in Bay, and she said, Josephine, 
you having a baby? I'm mm. like, I know. You're like, shit. I'm like, no, oh, I didn't say shit. I'm like, I. She goes, what took you so long? Because she was from the Philippines. Mm. What are you doing? Mm. I'm like, I know. I'm like, it wasn't planned, but now, I said, now I'm old. I was 36. Right. I mean, today people started 36, yeah. but then. They were like, oh, you got to do this test. This is so much, you know. Um, did you know that I was a boy? Well, when, when as did I you said, know? when uh, just because I was 36, yeah. they tell you you're high risk. So right, they right, had right. to do all those tests, which they uh, they did. A, they took the liquid out of my stomach mm -hmm. with the big syringe. Oh, ugh. And the only thing that they could not tell me was the color of your eyes. Oh, wow. So they told me you, you were a boy. Mm. You were so many p pounds already. Right. And uh, blonde hair. Mm. I'm like, oh. So Baba tells me, do not tell me. I don't want to know what it is. That's good. But Phyllis was crying because she wanted another girl. Right. And Angela was like, wanted a boy. Right. She wanted a, yeah. somebody that she can play soccer with. Because right. She was, Phyllis. She was just whooping up Phyllis's <laughs> ass. So she wanted to just hang out with somebody. <laughs> Okay. So well, uh, so when they did that test, they told me what it was, and I'm like, I'm not going to keep it a secret because you know we got to start buying clothes and stuff, right? All that. Uh, and Papa goes, no, I don't want to know. I'm like, either you want it or not, it's a boy. Mm, damn, you ruined it for us. <laughs> he goes, I told you I don't want to know. I'm like, look, Phyllis is crying. Angela wants a boy, it and I'm like, boy. I don't want to keep it as a secret. Mm -hmm. For until he's born in December. So we all going to know it's going to be a boy. Boom. And there you were, December 15th. When I, I, you gave yeah. birth to a legend. Let's yes. be real. You yes. gave birth to a legend. My handsome son. That's right. Um, I don't so, really, yeah. What, what time was I born? You were born in the morning, like 6.50 mm. in the morning. I'm sorry. Because we went <laughs> to the hospital after midnight. Oh, did I... The, did I cause you a lot of trouble? No, no? Not, none of three. None I, of the three. So, n out of the three, who was the easiest pregnancy? Well, the first one, I did not know what I was going through. Right, it was so new, every it was little new. pain. I was like, "Oh my God, I'm dying." <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> was Phyllis easier then? Well, she, yeah. Than the Angela? second one, I knew that I was I had to go through all that labor pain for her right. to come out. And you, I'm like, okay. And the doctor said, up a door. I'm like, no, just mm. like get her over with. Let's do it. Pull this fucker out of here. <laughs> uh, okay. No, right. I didn't say that. No, obviously but not. But I'm like, you know, let's do it. You're sure? I'm like, yes, no cocktail, no cocktail. Let's Please do no. it. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> December 15th. December 15th. Oh, man. So, and here you are. Here I am. Here so, you are. Yeah. Um, so I want to uh, fast forward a little bit. Uh, when it was time for me to start going to school. Oh my God! Did you the the, can I, the preschool? You did I had not a great cry. time. Had a great time at preschool. Met when a lot we, of great people that I still you, know. Right. When I started kindergarten, and they were like eight hour days. Oh my God! Did you cry? Those oh. beautiful eyes, those beautiful tears. Oh my God! Remember as that teacher, Miss uh, Coin. Miss Coin. My kindergarten teacher, yeah. Mrs. Coin. Yeah, she. Shout out to her. Her daughter. Her daughter watches the show, so uh, shout out to see? Bridget. Uh, um, but Mrs. Coin. Always in my heart. She was so comforting. Because as soon as you would drop me off and tell me you were leaving for the day. Oh, my God. You cried. Yeah. The because, whole year. Yeah. The whole, the entire, folks, folks. Entire. No, no exaggeration. From September, let's say we started in September. When do you usually end school? June? June. The beginning of June. I From September to June. For the first three hours. Five of, days. For wow. the first three hours of every day. Those uh, beautiful eyes with beautiful tears. Yeah, I was just crying. crying. I wanted my mom. I wanted my mom. F everybody in the class. I didn't care about anybody in the class, the teacher. I wanted to be with my mother. Uh, oh, mommy, I miss you so much. I did. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> I'm like, you got to go to school. I'm like, you did not cry at uh, pre-K. I did not. I did but not. But kindergarten, when then when you started first grade... In the first, like maybe the first week or two weeks of first grade, I also cried. You started crying. And then I got over it. Then uh, the teacher said. Mrs. Zakowski. Mrs. Zakowski said to me, Love her. I could not do, you know, last year, you were, it was not in my class. Yeah. I could not say anything or do anything for you. Right. But she said, when now. you drop him off in <laughs> the morning, 
you leave him at the door and don't turn around. Yeah. That's what yeah. she said to me. She's smart. Because she said, yeah, I saw him crying and you were like, no, I'll be back. But, And that's what she said. <sighs> Miss Latuka, just Keep leave, going. give it to me. Yeah. And walk away. Don't turn around when he cries. She took great care of me. She she made me feel. She always asks him about you. Every time I see her at shop right or mm, a church. Yeah. She says, oh, my bo- I was my boy. So I saw her at church. Uh, maybe a few. I think by now it was maybe a month. But I saw her at church. I uh, went by myself. And uh, I'm looking to my right. And, you know. She always sits on the same place. And I was sitting where we sit now. Right. We used to sit on the other side. But so I'm looking, and I I know I'm like that is Mrs. Zakowski, 100. percent So I'm looking, and she's looking, and we're making eye contact. And granted, I don't have the best vision, so I can't really see if she's if she's looking at me, is she looking through me, is she looking around me? I don't know. But and then I was like smiling, to be like, it's me, and she wasn't from the distance. She didn't know it was me. But I'm like, as soon as this mass is over, I'm darting right to Mrs. Zakowski. And I did that. As soon as the priest bowed at the end and walked down the aisle to leave, and everyone starts leaving to go to their cars, I, like, ran right to right to over to her. Man. And the closer I got, her face lit up with a bright smile, and she goes, Vito? Vito? And I go, Mrs. Zakowski? <laughs> and I give her a huge hug. It was like... It was, oh my God, it was like one of those hugs that like you just need. I needed that hug. Uh, And she introduced me to her her husband and I would assume her granddaughter, maybe great granddaughter. I'm not sure. But so there was a little girl and her and her husband. Her granddaughter. Right. Yeah. So she goes, I used to teach him in first grade. (laughs) And I go, and I look her right in her face, the little girl, and I go, no baloney. One of my favorite teachers of all time. And she goes, he's just saying that. I go, no, I'm not. Right. I said, you were so important to me. I love Mrs. Zakowski still to this day. Uh, I hope she somehow sees this. Uh, I love you, Mrs. Zakowski. I really do. <laughs> Every time I see her at ShopRite, she's always uh, asking me. She was talking about my beard. She was like, now you have a beard. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm grown. I was like, I'm about to be 25 in a few days. Oh, it was nuts. So it's yeah. just... I really hope I see so her you again. So you saw her recently then, before very, the holiday. Very recently, yeah. yeah. This is at least, it had to be early yeah. uh, or late um, November. Right. Had to be. Yeah, maybe um, a Sunday that you went all by I herself. would love to take her out to I lunch. Thi- I think she goes at 9 o'clock mass. She does. You and do. she said she always goes, goes at 9, 9 o'clock mass. I like going to the 9 a.m. because once it's done, you still have the rest of your day. I like Because the 11, the 11, they take too long. And it then does. you come out and you're, it's 12.30. 12.30, I know. When you do the nine, it's like... It's I don't want to get up and hurry up and take a shower and be out of the house at nine o'clock. That's me, why I like to go to the Me, I'm an early bird. I know. I like to be... the Getting up early never bothered me. Uh, I, so I like getting there early and then leaving early. Well, not leaving early. I stay for right. the whole thing. But you know what I mean. Like when you're done, you're leaving. Yeah, um, you're so like at 10 o'clock, you're right, done. Right. So this is my question. You used to take me to church when I was uh, little. You were the altar boy. No, before oh, that. Before so that. For, I was going to get okay. that. But before that, um, yeah, how would you say I was? Because when I go now as a grown man and I look around and there's kids, like infants, not infants, but like, you know, they're like two, maybe three. They are like, they run around, they're no, always yelling. You how was your, I? You were great. You and your sisters were great. Just Otherwise, I would not take you. So I would just If it was silence. embarrassing for me yeah. to like, oh, be, you know, stay, stay. Up. Yeah, like right. none of that. So um, I would sit there kind yes, of in silence. Yes. I have a very uh, vivid memory of just, I, uh, did I used to sleep? Like lay down? A church? No. Yeah, no. no. I feel like I have a memory in my head. Where Maybe when we went on Christmas Eve, because no, since, no, it since was it, you've been born, yeah, we started going uh, to midnight mass. You didn't do that before, no, I was born? no, because Blessing. we we used to do <laughs> like we always used to celebrate a Christmas Eve big with my brothers, you know, right. But since then, my father passed away, that changed, mm. and then you came uh, along. So we were like, how are we gonna get to mass tomorrow, like nine o'clock or ten, with the newborn? So we decided to do midnight mass. I feel like I remember a specific mass. It was a Saturday, 5.30. And I just was like laid, 
not sleeping, but like I would lay in the oh, pillow. Maybe, maybe because I used to, when I wasn't that's, working, you know, I when I wasn't working at that Saturday, I probably would have said, let's go to church now so mm -hmm. we don't have to worry about tomorrow right. morning, Aria. Yeah. Because now, you know, there's not a min 12 o'clock mess anymore. Mm -mm. But before, they used to be like 7, 9, 10, 30, and 12. So I'm like, which one am I going to go? Yeah. But if I wasn't working on Saturday, I, I would like, okay, let's hurry up and go to church now. So So I want to credit you with, in, you instilled that faith into me. Um, because now I, I live, uh, I, th I would say that a lot of people that know me know that I'm a man of God and I put God first. And everything I do, I'm always, you know, I, I'm a... I mean, I'm a I, church pu boy. I pushed you to go to church, right. and then you guys went to Catholic school. I think that helped. Oh, absolutely, it helped. You know, um, the, the grade school, the high school, and yeah. all the, you know, the special holidays. I was an altar server. Oh my God, altar service! But Angel and Phyllis were not. No, not the. No. So like, I I wanted to do you that. You didn't force that. me to do that. No, you I wanted. wanted to do that. Yeah. So um, I say that to say this. Do you remember the day? I don't know if you were there now that I say this. When, when I passed out? Yeah, I, I was. You weren't there? I'm like, what's wrong with him? Oh, man. Okay, yeah, so let me let me break this down for you folks. So I was, uh, this is, had to be sixth grade. Yes, because that's when you started doing the altar boy. Yeah. Six I, and seven. I did it seven. for two years. Yes, yeah, six fifth, and seven. No, no, no. It was fifth and fifth six. Fifth and six. Okay. I was still at like Cabrini. Okay. Okay, so um, it was in the summer. It was definitely a summer day. And uh, I was an altar server, so you had to wear dress clothes underneath you couldn't look like a slob so i no had sneakers nothing right so dress shoes dress pants dress shirt no tie dress shirt and then the robe and the robe was kind heavy. of heavy so i'm sitting in uh this is right before the eucharist so I, it is my job i was this position that day to ring the bells when the priest lifts the eucharist up and is blessing the eucharist so it's my my uh my job to ring the bells right before he it's it's that time i just started seeing black spots and i'm i like feel that i'm sweating but like not like where i'm dripping sweating but i'm like ooh, i'm hot and then i start seeing these black spots and i'm like are my eyes closed and then i didn't they weren't closed and then i closed them because i was like trying to like get my bearings together and then the next thing I remember is somebody shaking my back. And they're like, Vito, are you okay? Vito, 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 Vito. And then I looked up, and there's just like, there was uh, Mrs. Smar. She lives in the neighborhood. She was behind me, and she's like, are you okay? Are you okay? And then she like took me. She clearly realized something was wrong. Uh, so I was, I was like this. I was on my, uh, my wrists, my forearms kneeling down though and you know the priest didn't stop anything he didn't care about me he cared about what he had to do and this lady shout out to miss more she took you took me to the back, back. but kinda, not let anybody notice what would happen right Nothing. but i i completely passed out because i really don't remember a few of those moments that passed by and I just remember it was her, me, and I. You were in the bathroom with us in the then back. Then I'm like, you know, why something they, happened to my yeah, son. Yeah, I'm like, why is she taking him out there? Yeah. So um, your your sister said, "Don't go." I'm like, stay she here. She was there too. I think Angela and Phyllis because we mm. always went to church together. I feel like they weren't. I feel like that day was just me and you. But just anyway, you. you could be right and mm. I could be wrong. So, but I went back there and then you took off your. I was sweating ride. so much so when I took the robe off. Water. Yeah, they gave me and water. And that day you never went back uh, out there. That day. Right. That I day. went later. Yeah. You right, know, I right. continued to do it. But right. I remember that was the first time I ever passed out. And I, I was like, I was scared because I didn't remember a few of those moments. But I also, like, and, and I remember, I feel like he didn't even, like, say, the priest didn't even come to say, like, are you okay, anything like that. Did he notice it? Did Miss Martin let anybody notice? Because I'm like, a sh I saw her taking you, and I'm like, what's going on? So I just got up for, we yeah. were sitting, like, at the second, we I were remember she threw cold, a lot of cold uh, water well, in my right. face. So, like, she's splashing yeah. water in my face, and she gave was, me water. Uh, I think it was, like, it was... Not an air condition day. Oh, it was hot as hell in there. Yeah, so maybe the air condition wasn't on mm -hmm. yet. And you, with that thing so heavy. I had so many layers on. Yeah, because you were supposed to wear, you know. Right. 
So. But so yeah, that was uh that was definitely a crazy thing. Yeah. Um, but I, I really do why I said that is I just wanted to know how I was when I was a kid in church because when you I know. go to church by myself now Good. and I see kids, I'm always like, was I, I like know. that? Or no. was I like no. just otherwise I wouldn't make sure that I went by myself. Mm. If I had to, you know, like say tell you you or your sisters sit down right. and I'm here to pray, not take care of you. I could have taken care of you at home. Right, right, right. Or came by myself and you know. Okay. leave you with the papa or nonna. So I credit you with the faith that I have um, because you, you still, like you, when you're cleaning around the house, you have prayers on in the background. Yeah, so yeah. Like, Instead of I, having music, I always have, says exactly, my rosary. Exactly. So I, I, I want to say I appreciate you for that because that is a big part of my life to the, today yes. is uh, my faith in God and all that stuff. So... Um, but yeah, you were very supportive when I said I wanted to be an altar server. And I'm like, sure. Do you sure you want to do this? Right. I'm like, okay. So you had a practice. Yeah. I used to take you to practice yeah. and pick you up. Those 7 a.m. masses I, that, would bring me there. Those 7 o'clock masses. Yeah, those I, were I hated it. Of course. Because, you know, with well, you the pizza shop, me. always went to bed late. Yeah. And I'm like, we have to get up at 6.15 because you had to be at church at 6.40. Right. So I'm like, you have to get up and yeah. we have to, because, yeah. you know, they no. gave you a different schedule every week yeah so but you did it for fifth and six yeah because once you moved to queen you never you were already holy family s- holy family i did it i did, you it, did I it over there maybe too? twice really yeah okay. and it I was like uh doing that no you weren't there it was like school masses oh school masses and they'd be like anybody want to be an altar server okay. i remember me and dan shout out to dan uh we did two maybe maybe only one me and dan did okay. together Right. But it was, uh, yeah, they yeah. asked anybody who was an altar server if they right. wanted to be, and I was like, oh, I'll sure, do it. I'll do it. And right. Dan was like, I'll do it. And I was like, oh, look at that. Me and Dan. Right, yeah. And uh, he was one of my best friends at that point, so right. I was like, okay, let's do let's it. Let's do it together. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. Yeah. That was cool. No, over here, uh, Cabrini, we, you know, you yeah. did it, you your part. I loved I loved doing it. I really do. So like when I go to church now by myself and, and I see them, I'm like don't, oh. don't worry about a thing. I know. Just stay focused and you know, do what you got to do. Uh I have a very uh specific memory. Uh you and me, you had a job at a sewing place? Oh yeah, I used to work at Sam's Uniforms. In where was you in, you in, in New, Jersey? New Jersey? Okay. I remember one day you brought me Oh, okay. To and this so. room was it was like a folks, it was like a sweatshop. There was all kinds of it ladies a, just yeah. sewing. It re- was a, a police the uniforms a store. Really? So you yes. were doing uniforms for the police for officers? The Trenton wow. police. Okay. Uh, oh and uh yeah. And Did I you was, like it? I loved it. Okay. I used to work from 10 until like 3. Because I would be home uh, like before your sisters uh, were home. Right. 3.30. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I did it uh, actually a, a long time. How many years do you know? Maybe like four years I used wow. to do that. Yeah. And how did you, how did you get into it? Uh, my friend Anna. Okay. And, uh, she did it first? She was working there. She was the seamstress. Okay, seamstress. Yeah. Right. So she was there, and she's like, they needed help. She goes, you want a, a part-time job? Mm. I'm like, I already have a part-time job. Right. But she goes, oh, come and help me. So I, I did it. I loved it. Those six hours, they went by so fast. Because mm. time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. So you were enjoying yourself. Then uh, I do remember that day though. Uh, you you walked me in and there was just a bunch I, of yeah right. I think uh, I didn't. I I needed to go for a couple hours. Right, and, and I didn't want to. I'm like you. I know you were such a good boy, so it's not like oh he's gonna be running Mm-mm. everywhere. I'm right. gonna tell him to sit, and he's gonna, he's listen, gonna to me, listen to me. And like uh, me, I'm gonna do whatever <laughs> I have to, and we're gonna come right home. Yeah, I do remember that. That was yeah. uh that was fun. Same C uniform. So your your mother. My nun, though, mm. um, she was really good at sewing. Yeah. And she used to do that when she was uh, young in Italy. Sh- she used to do, like, pants for men's and shirts. Did she teach you or did no, you have no, to no. You learn just, from this place? I just learned. Uh, from this place? From this place, yeah. Okay. Because she used to make Skype and Lana. Oh, yeah, those uh, oh, my sl- God. slippers. So, folks, let me paint this picture for you. Skype and Lana is yarn yarn socks. slippers slippers they're socks. slippers but they're like shoes socks. <laughs> yeah there's shoelaces 
And we still oh have a lot God, of them. We have amazing. so many. And every time I put them on, I, I'm not lying. I tear up because I'm like. Yeah. She used to do them like, you know. I all the no, time. All the time. She had nothing to do. And right. she's like, can you please buy me some I need yarn? blue yarn. And you'd go buy the blue <laughs> and yarn. And I used to go buy it. And she's like, oh, it gives me something to do instead of watching TV with nothing in my hands. She would kill it. She, yeah. she was the best. She would, So you know how to do it up until it's time to like. I, curve the yeah, bottom. Yeah, I don't know how to curve the bottom. Oh, I wish she taught you. Yeah, I but I, we still have a lot. Say no, I know we have, a, yeah, we have so many. Because she made so many. Right. So but like, she made like all kinds of sizes. Made little baby ones, size. toddlers, yes. adults. Yes. Um, so whenever yours get ruined, we'll pick another pair. So she made, the one she made for me, the baby blue and the white ones. Oh, yeah. So it's baby blue with the white shoelaces and the white with little the, ring around the, the top. Yes. Oh, my God. So they're starting to get worn out, and I don't, I don't want to wear them anymore you because don't I have don't. To, don't throw. Well, if you want. Who's gonna throw them out? Well, no one's gonna throw them out. But I don't want to. Have, I have new ones. It may be not be the same color. It could be like green no, no, no. And I white. don't care about the color. I really don't. Uh-huh. As long as I have, if I have Skype Alana, I will feel better. Well, you know what I mean? whenever I, you know, we have some. So she was just. She was really good at. That and Sewing. making blankets. And making blankets. And then, wait, so you made the... I made you into the blankets. <laughs> when uh, Johnny was born. Right. And I was at Angela. Yeah. I'm like, what am I going to do? Because Johnny used to sleep a lot. Right. So I'm like, I am not doing nothing these two hours that Johnny's sleeping. Would you say Johnny slept, sleep, slept more, more than, than Vincenzo does? More than Vincenzo, yeah. Mm. Johnny used to sleep for two hours and then another hour and a half. Mm. That three hours that I, like, I was there do, practically one feeding yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Because he slept a lot. Okay. So what's, what's it like being a nun now? I love it. Yeah, I know you do. I love it. I know you do. Yeah. Do, are there, um, are there similarities to being a mother, or do you? Is there like I? A I think uh, being a mother is a big responsibility. For sure. For sure, because like you know, from morning to night you're thinking. But when you're a grandma, you know, you hug and kiss him for three, four hours, and you know it's it's yeah. You're kind of your res- responsibility for the rest. You kind of just help. Yes. More so but than yes. that is yours. Yeah, like I know, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, but, so, yeah, you know, the, the title sh- Nana. Si, this is how you say, Shrinche Vaza and Batina Togaza. It's uh, like you hug. kiss and hug and go to your house. Right, but when you say it in Italian, <laughs> it, it rhymes. Shrinche, so say it again. Shrinche Vaza and Batina Togaza. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, speaking on, on this, just saying stuff in Italian, so you taught me uh, recently. So it's... Uh, giro Giro Tondo. Yes, but wait. So what is it in English? Hold on. Ring around, around the, the rosy, <laughs> pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, they all fall down. And in Italian, Giro Giro, giro Tondo, casca de mondo, casca la terra, tutti giù per terra. Hey! That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. No, that is, yeah. that's amazing. Well, you know, Johnny knows... He, I, I Johnny's told, bilingual. Yeah. He, he, he just, he understands... He's gentle too. You, you, you tell him a street, una setta di mano, he's already given it to yeah, you. Yeah, he knows that it's uh, a say handshake. Say ciao, and he says ciao, you know, he's saying yeah. ciao. And da un bacio, he's opened his mouth like, ah, he yeah, wants to give you a kiss. He's so, so he's going to be just like Johnny. Because I take, talk to them both languages. So Vincenzo, the new one, folks, he is... Uh, he will be one in July, July, July 11th. He's going to be six months on uh, January 11th. So his middle name is Joseph. For Josephine. Jean. How does that make you feel? When I heard about it, I'm like, really? So Vincenzo, after my father, your husband, Joseph for you. Well, I know. When, uh, that, when uh, Angela and Dane told me, they're like, oh, uh, you, you want to know his middle name? I'm like, yeah, what is it? I'm mm-hmm. like, you know, I didn't think they were going to put Joe. So, but Angela goes, Dane picked it. I'm amazing. like, oh, Shout that's out to so Dane. wonderful. No, that so, is amazing. But, uh, yeah, both of them, they, I talked to both of them in Italian and in English. So oh, they make good. sure that they know what I'm saying. Wait, I think that's good because my nonna, your mother, she didn't speak any English. So when I was very young. You spoke I had, I yeah, yeah, I had to speak to her. So yeah. I thought that was good for my brain. I thought that was good for just our relationship because I had, you know, yeah, I know, I know how how vital it is to have a grandmother 
uh, in your life. So like I had, you know, no, no, Angelina, your mother-in-law, but she lived in Italia. So like right. I really, I, I really only saw her three well, weeks of my entire right, life. Right. Because yeah. when we went three well, times, you, you know. when you went the first, last time, I you did not see her. No, I know, I know. Because she passed the day you guys got there. Right. So you probably saw her twice. Like tw two weeks two, total. Two weeks. In they, person. We, we but we would talk to her all the on right. the phone all the time. Right. And that was different. Right. But... Nana, my mom. Yeah, she was here every day, yeah. and if she wasn't here, we went to her house. Right. So I know the impact a grandmother who is involved in your life, you know, and how crucial they that relationship is, and the fact that my two nephews now have you. That makes me feel, you know, like you know, that makes me feel a certain way, and I, I'm super right. excited for them when they start getting older, right? And they really have that relationship with you. I'm I'm really looking forward to. Because they're not going to call you grandmother. They're going to no, call you no, nana. No, you know no. what I mean? So No, they, they yeah. no, no, no. So no. when I was a kid right. and people would talk about their grandmothers and they'd say, oh, my grandma or my mom, mom or anything, right. I'd be like, I always said it, my nonna. My nonna. And then I would have to be, they'd be like, what? what? And I'd be like, my grandmother. But I, no hesitation. I'd say yeah. my nonna. Like, yeah. Johnny, nonna was, we, we told him how to say nonna. Right, and he says And it. he nonna? says nonna, no, no, zia, zio. Like, yeah, you know, the time. So, so that, that's Vincenzo is going to be the same way. For sure. That's yeah. so important for the both of them. That they're really, they're going to find the culture that, on this side of the family. You know what I mean? So, right. like, it's just, um, yeah. that that's, I'm very excited to see them grow up, number one. But number two, to see them grow up, like, with that culture. They're not going to ever call you grandma or anything like that. It's going to be none that. They're going to call me zeal. They don't have to say zeal vito because right, there's only yeah, one yeah. zeal. Right. Me. So that 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 makes me feel uh, a certain way, and I'm, I'm very excited for that. Um, yeah. yeah. Me too. So I, I just want to get, get to see them getting older. I can't you know? wait. Johnny is our, he's three going on thirteen. He, oh the kid my is God. the kid is something else. Yes. Kid, very you know, very smart. Super smart. I he's, think uh, a part of that is the technology that we have today. Um, because like he'll look at my phone and. If the volume isn't on, he knows that if he clicks on the music app... I tell him all the time. He can, can drag the volume button. Yeah, I tell him, can you please turn off this uh, iPad? Mm. And he knows how to do it. The tablet, yeah. Yeah, the tablet that he has. I'm like, can you put it lower? Yeah, and he knows like, how to do okay, it. okay, no, no. Yeah, he's very smart. I can't wait to have him back on the podcast. Uh, that'll just... There, we have so much to talk about. We do. He's been, he's a big brother. Santa Claus just came. He started school. I know. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a lot... There's but a lot for us to talk about. I asked him, what did you learn today in school? No, not a lot of things. Yeah, always. So, <laughs> wait, real quick. So, I asked him, uh, what day were they here? When, th yesterday. New Year's. They were here on New Year's? They were here oh, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, I go, Johnny, when are you going to come on the podcast? Um, in four days. Yeah. He goes, <laughs> he goes um... Four days, and I go, okay, <laughs> all right, we can set that up. Four days. Yeah, so that's just funny. Um, but I, I want to end. First off, can you drink the rest of that? Mm, is this my first? Yeah, this is embarrassing. Is it embarrassing? No, but you know I love you. I'll never pressure you or do anything. Go ahead, finish it. Finish mm -hmm. it, Ma. Mm -hmm. Finish it. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> it's like drinking water. You hate drinking water. Uh, that's what I'm drinking. Yeah, I know. I don't understand. <laughs> the only person in America, maybe not, a lot of people don't like drinking water now that I think about it, but when you, when you drink water, you make the face that you're drinking like the water vodka. right now. Yeah, <laughs> nashada. Don't make any sense. <laughs> don't make any sense. Thank you. That, uh, that means a lot. So, oh, this, so this one's for you. How many did you have? Two? Three? Mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fill up one more time. Uh, I do have... I want to end with something. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is... This is... This is going to be good. So, folks. First off, I just... I just want to thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. Bringing me into this world. This piece yes. of shit world that we live no. in. Oh, but no, thank you uh, for raising me right. Raising me with... Manners, teaching me how to treat people the way I want to be treated. Thank you for just raising me properly. I just, I just want to say thanks for just being so a great mother, a truly great mother, an even better nunna. 
I can't wait for our, my nephews to get older and really know who you are. You know, they know you now, but they don't know you know you. And to know you is to love you. <laughs> so I love you. Um, I love you more. I want to end with what happened yesterday. What happened what yesterday? What happened yesterday, Ma? Tell the people. What happened yesterday? What did we do yesterday? Tell the people. What happened here? Oh, yesterday. Oh, my what God. What happened? Inter one. That's right. And here I am sitting on the steps. I'm like, Hail Mary, please let them win. So what I want, <laughs> ladies, ladies, if you love your hu- your man, your boyfriend, your husband, support him indefinitely for everything. If he likes the Eagles and you don't care about the Eagles, start to care about the Eagles. <laughs> Because my mom is the definition of a ride or die. She is a die hard Inter. Inter fan. An Interista is how you would say it in Italian. Forza Inter Forza all the time. Forza Inter. Sempre. Sempre. For real. So yes. Inter played Napoli. Napoli is in first place as we speak. They had an 11 point lead against us. Uh, you get three points for a win, one point for a tie, zero for a loss, obviously. So we beat them yesterday. We completely dominated the game from start to finish. So now we are eight points behind with half of the season left. So that that is manageable. We're currently in fourth place, but we I, I really believe now that we can challenge for first place and win the league. So yesterday we won one nothing. Uh, Jekyll scored the goal. Uh, but you were right there, at, sitting at the steps, me and Baba are in my room watching the game, and, you know, screaming, doing the whole, Tiralo! Barcelona! Screaming, all in Italian, angry, you know what I mean? The passionate. Passionate yeah. is what I'll say. But, uh, Baba is an Inter fan. Right. And For when sure. They, if, when they lose, Miserable. It's, not, it's not like you. But you, My. if they lose, forget it. You're very, very sad all day, <laughs> cannot talk to you. So I'm like, oh, my God. So for for you, Inter is a big thing. Yeah. So I am cheering for them to win. <laughs> so then you'll be <laughs> smiling the rest of the day and like say, this. we did it today. Right. So I was like sitting in, in the... On the, Ste- step, on the steps. The bottom step. And he's like, are you coming in? I'm like, no, I'm going to sit right here. Yeah, no. And uh, just watching the game all by myself on the steps and you yeah. guys in your room mm-hmm. and looking at the TV. You had the baby too, no? I, the baby was upstairs. Oh, yeah, he was sleeping. You're he right. was sleeping. Yeah. So I'm looking at the, t- at the game. I'm like, oh, please. Hmm. Oh, please. <laughs> and every time they miss like th- those four goals, I'm yeah. like, oh, no. So we could have won four nothing. Well, we I'll settle for the one nothing win, yeah. uh, but we completely dominated the game. But you are just so supportive; it's unbelievable. <laughs> so for me, I know what we're capable of. That's why when they don't win, it pisses me off because right. I we are the best team in the league, like talent wise, roster top to bottom. We have the best team. But so when we, they don't do that, I get so mad. I know and now that Lukaku is back and Martinez. I'm like, come See, on! This is the thing. She knows the players. <laughs> she knows what country they're from. <laughs> So, ladies, if you really want to be the best lady you can be to your man, know what he cares about. I do it for my son. And what about your husband? <laughs> my husband, he can, uh, he, as I said, he's not like you. He gets upset, but right. not like you. Right. So, if they lose, he's like, oh, you cannot win every game. So, here's the question. Did your dad support anybody? I... Do you know what he was or no? Not really. So he didn't not really he, watch. He, I mean, he watched the sport, yeah. in, in the soccer, but he he was not like you in Terista, yeah. or like you know, Zio Pino's Zio Pino's a Milanista, Milanista uh, and the Frigolinos are stupid. You <laughs> for real. So um, oh, when I remember one day, my cousin uh, son from Florida came and visit us, he's and a we Juve put, fan. he's a Juve fan. Uh, Pietro, tell when we came tell here, we put all the Inter stuff on the stairs. So we have we have coffee cups, espresso cups to be specific. With Inter, it's the the whole cup and the, and the plate underneath, all Inter, blue and black, everything. So I gave him a cup of coffee. And he couldn't believe it. And he goes, my dad is going to throw me out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm drinking coffee in this coffee pot. I'm right. like, either this or nothing. So he's like, no, I cannot do this. So I'm like, I know you're a Yuban fan, but Just in drink this the house. Coffee. <laughs> Pasole, <I don't> <laughs> I'm like, in this house, it's all Inter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So 
we are in the through and through, blue and black, black and blue, whatever you want to say. Yes. Um, but what I wanted to say, so we were just, you just said something about Ziopino and Milanista. I know, Milanista. So, folks, we got to talk about the sponsors of the show. So, oh. if, you, if you are in the Brooklyn, New York area, specifically Brooklyn, the phone is ringing. Who uh, cares? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want me, co- yeah. call me later. <laughs> We're busy. Uh, the Brooklyn, New York area, specifically 14, New Kirk Plaza, Brooklyn, New York, 11226. We're talking about Lil Duca Pizza, the one and only, the best pizza in Brooklyn. I'll say the best pizza in New York, period. Best pizza in, in New York. Honestly, best everything. You want chicken one fingers? One of these days, we're going to go surprise them and then go have a piss. We should. So, uh, I'm with you. We should definitely do that. Uh, one so, Wednesday afternoon. Because okay. they close on a Sunday. Right. Classic. Yeah. Sunday is for the family. Up. Right. So the uh. phone number, folks. <laughs> 718-859-1501. I remember that number when I used to talk to Zia all the time. Shout out to Zia Enza. Shout out to Zio Pino. Shout out to Vito. I knew, the number, by, I knew the um, number by art. Alessandro, Daniele, Francesco, Matteo. Shout out to Mena, Philomena. New <laughs> welcome Francesca. to the family. For sure. But I was just going to say welcome to the family. She oh. just, you know, she just got into the family. I know. La Duca's. Shout out to Francesca. Mm. Um, you know. The shout two little girls. Uh, Michaela, Michaela and. Luciana. Luciana. Okay. Shout out to them. The fam- in our hearts, for sure. <laughs> so shout out to everybody at Lil Duca Pizza. For Zainte. I know. For Zainte. <laughs> Bitter uh, rivals. So our teams share the same stadium. We're black and blue. They're black and red. When, so, do, when do Inter and Mila- Milan play? Two weeks they play for the Supercoppa Italiana. Ooh. So that is for a trophy. So that is who won the league last year. And who's uh, who won the Copa Italia? I would love to see everybody at the same room. I'll kill them. Inter so that's the thing. And the Milan fan. I don't want to watch the game with them because I'd want to kill one of them. Uh, and Vito from York. Oh, he's a he's Milan. He's a Milanista fan. too. Yeah. That Ooh. would be nice. That would be nice. All of you at the so same it's a time. Wednesday. Did I take a half day for that day? Absolutely. Because oh. So it's January, I think, eighteenth. Okay, so two weeks from okay. uh, the past Wednesday. So they play Inter and Milan. Yeah, in, oh in Saudi Arabia. Uh, Saudi they, Arabia. So they have to fly to Saudi Arabia to play Meet. this one game. Yeah. Meet. Uh, un- unbelievable. If they would play on a Sunday, I would make sure that everybody. Yeah. That would be nice. Uh, on the same room, on the, the, the roof. same room, yeah. The same room. Right. I would love that to would see be crazy. all that. Uh, We'd be screaming. I'd probably punch one of them by accident. No. By accident. No, no, no. By no. accident. It would, be, <laughs> it would be fun. <laughs> well, be we'll fun. see when they play next besides the, the s- Folks, <laughs> folks, all you need to know is we are Interista through and through. My mother is a ride or die. <laughs> she cares about me. She cares about my my dad more than anything. So far trying to... <laughs> Let, let's do it. Ole, 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 ole. Ite, ite. Love it. God bless. God bless. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Again, you can find me on every single platform you listen or watch podcasts. YouTube, Apple, Spotify. You can catch small clips on TikTok and Instagram, all under the name Vibrations with Vito. I am Vito. So make sure you subscribe. You like the videos. Uh, if you don't like the videos, tell me you don't like. I want some feedback. You know what I mean? But I hope you like them because I'm pushing out some good shit here. So, Ma, I want to thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Ciao, Ciao for, for now. now.